Spider-Man Far From Home arrives in the massive dark shadow as the first entry to the Marvel Cinematic Universe following Avengers Endgame. The bar is set inexplicably high for the team behind this film, but in their own ways, they reach it. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with your spoiler-free review of Spider-Man Far From Home, which takes Peter Parker out of New York City and sends him on a school trip all across Europe. As with Spider-Man Homecoming, Peter is forced to decide several times over whether he wants to enjoy a normal high school life or if he wants to be a hero, and the movie is a lot of fun regardless of which life he is trying to live. Of course, it's a bit more fun when he is costumed and saving the world, which is why Far From Home gets better as it goes. The dynamic between Tom Holland, Zendaya, and Jacob Batalon is immediately re-established, along with the counters from Tony Revolori's Too Cool Flash Thompson, which is entertaining in itself. However, it's really Spider-Man who most often steals the show, finding ways to swing around Prague and rescue his pals from elementals, all while trying to preserve his secret identity. And while Spider-Man is the only Avengers character in the movie, Tony Stark's present feels even more heavy-handed than it did in Homecoming. This time, the narrative is fueled by Peter's desire to make Tony happy and cope with the events of Endgame, which builds an interesting inner conflict for the character who seems to be looking for a father figure. The perfect place for Jake Gyllenhaal's Mysterio to swoop in. Gyllenhaal and Holland have terrific chemistry, and Gyllenhaal on his own crafts one of the most entertaining characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to date, for reasons we cannot explain just yet. While the film stands very much on its own, it does a really cool job of showing the world post-Avengers Endgame snap, and does tremendous exciting things which we also can't talk about at all to expand the MCU as a whole, including two of the best post credit scenes attached to any Marvel movie to date. Seriously, they are awesome. While we're at it, it doesn't seem like we're swinging to any crazy heights calling Spider-Man Far From Home the best Spider-Man movie ever made. I'm Brandon Davis for comicbook.com and I give Spider-Man Far From Home 5 out of 5 stars.